All right, so here we are, the beginning of day two on our uh, Bayliner boat project. Um, you can see here I pulled up that big plywood piece they slapped on top here because the floor was falling through. And you can see, I mean the floor just completely disintegrated. It wasn't that it was soft, I mean completely disintegrated so as y'all can see we uh <laughs> we got our work cut out for us uh, this it's pretty safe to say that this boat needs Jesus and a lot of it so what we're working on doing is just getting this rotten wood out of here and uh I guess I need to get a trash bucket to start dumping it in and then hauling it out and then as I do that I'll work my way up towards the front of the boat and rip up all the carpet there and most of the wood as well okay so we're making some progress here you see I got all that ripped up up there, a little bit of the carpet left up there. Uh, so one thing I was kind of suspecting, I started ripping up where this chair mounts. You can see here, there has definitely been either termites or ants eating this wood alive. Now what I don't know, is whether or not that happened before or after the wood started to rot. We know that carpenter ants usually don't eat uh, dry wood, but they will start trying to burrow into wet wood. And that might be what happened here. Anyways, making some progress. I still don't know if these uh, stringers supporting them are going to be damaged as well. At this point, who knows. I know that this is damaged, this cross support here. That one, which seems to be more like a 2x4, seems to be alright. Alright, so I got that seat mount out of there. It's kind of funny, you can see right here there's an opening that was really already there I really didn't have to pull in this part see where they sprayed the foam in here and there's a little bit of a cavity they left well if you look closely it looks like a uh, ant pile decided that this would make a really good home and I'm sure all it took was the wood just to be soft enough for them to dig through it and then here they are Which is a shame, you know? So, just goes to show how important it is to make sure you let your boat dry out so that your wood doesn't soften up, because this is what'll happen. <laughs> and this is not what you want. This is a, this is a real shame. I don't think anybody wants this. Well, that was the end of my footage for day two after becoming depressed from all the destruction on the boat. So, I will see y'all tomorrow.